Hey everybody, Boxer Tech here. So I'm working on my 99 Subaru Legacy Outback, doing the head gasket. And an idea came to me for today's video. So we're going to talk about head gaskets. I'm going to show you guys a couple different examples. Um, we're also going to talk about composite versus multi-layer steel or MLS gaskets. So let's get into it. So the first gasket type I want to show you guys is actually what the Subaru OEM gasket looks like. So I pulled this gasket directly out of the engine when I did the head gasket repair. And uh, this is basically what a Subaru OEM gasket looks like. So the OEM gasket is a multi-layered steel. What that means is if you look at it from the side, there is multiple layers of steel actually that make up the gasket. So this is actually the preferred gasket type that you want to use for doing a head gasket job on a Subaru engine. So why did this one fail? Well, it's the old design. Um, this is actually coated here and over time this coating actually peels right off of the gasket and causes internal leaks. As you can see on the other side of the gasket, this is actually right where it failed. You can see this gasket material just peels right up. So once this happens, then the coolant starts trailing along in these silver areas here and leaks its way into the combustion chamber. And you can see on this side as well, the failure on the internal gasket here. So this is a old style Subaru OEM multi-layered steel gasket. So the next one I'm going to show you guys is a failed composite gasket. So the composite gasket, this is not multi-layered steel or MLS. This is similar to what you would find on a exhaust manifold. So this is actually the type of gasket that you see when you go on eBay and you see the head gaskets for, you know, $15, $20, and they, they work, but they're going to fail, as this one did. So there's a couple different areas where this one actually failed. And you can see, looking at it from the side here, you can see there's little, uh, there's little cracks in the gasket. So over time, these actually wear out. Now, the sad part about it is this gasket was actually just replaced. Now, the gasket is only 2,000 miles old, and this was a result of a repair that was done with the improper gasket. So, whenever you look out, there's a few different manufacturers out there. You always want to make sure that it's multi-layered steel. So, this one is the new updated gasket for Subaru engines. This one is made by Felpro and it's the Permatorque MLS. So the Permatorque actually is the updated gasket for this and I'll show you here. This is the new gasket for the Subaru engines. It's a multi-layered steel so you have the multiple layers but this is the updated design that doesn't have that coating on it that likes to fail and bleed into the combustion chamber. And also, you can see in comparison to the two gaskets that I showed you, if I hold up the new gasket and the old gasket side by side, you can see that there is a definite update to this gasket. The ceiling surface is so much better than on this one. This one's a flat ceiling surface. There's nothing to stop this uh, coolant from going into the combustion chamber when it fails. On the Felpros, they actually have a lip that actually goes onto the combustion chamber that seals this gasket and seals everything in place so this way they don't leak internally. Um, so this is the new updated design and to show you guys in reference, we have all three of them laid out here. Subaru OEM from the original engine new composite that failed after 2,000 miles, and the brand new Felpro Permatorque. 
So this is actually the gasket that you're going to want to use. This one's actually made for the Subaru EJ25D dual overhead cam manufactured from 96 to 99. The part number on this is 26167PT. These are the exact gaskets. You need to buy these in pairs and that actually shows that it replaces the OEM gasket number listed here. Now that gasket number is the exact one that I showed you guys earlier in the video, the black one that failed initially on the engine. Normally these gaskets, um, some auto parts stores actually carry these in stock. Uh, my local O'Reilly's Auto actually carries these gaskets in stock, um, but the drawback is they're about $50 a piece. So if you're doing the engine, it's about $100 plus the head bolts, um, you're about $150 into the engine rebuild. Um, and then what I actually found is I found a way to get these gaskets for about $15 a piece. So on my website, boxrdb.com, I'll actually have a link in the description to the article that's on my website that shows you where and how you can get these gaskets for about $15 a piece and other information about the Subaru head gaskets. So as always guys, if this information was helpful to you, please like the video, subscribe to it, and uh, always visit my website for more information on the vehicles and anything Subaru related.